When, oftentimes when I get into a discussion about blockchain, I'm asked what are the differences between Bitcoin blockchain and distributed ledger. Those three are critical uh, components of a good blockchain for business, but they can tend to get kind of muddied in the discussion unless you really understand the distinction between them. Now, Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency. It was the first cryptocurrency that was uh, put out by Satoshi Nakamoto in his, you know, famous white paper that basically was focused on creating a new type of currency that would be a tradable currency that could be used by by the world and not have to be controlled by a uh, a person a particular government. Get away from this fiat sort of mentality where um, governments manipulate their currency constantly. What Bitcoin is then is a currency and the technology underneath that currency is blockchain. Now, blockchain is a, a cryptographically secured way of maintaining data structures. I don't like to use the analogy of a database because a database is an input output system. It is a system that you can go change data that exists in the system. Blockchain, its main distinction is that the data that you put in it stays in it and is immutable. In other words, once you put data in a blockchain and it's secured in a block, the hash of that block is then transmitted to the next block so that each block knows about each other. In other words, so the next block knows who its previous block is, and that's how they're chained together. And this cryptography is what keeps all of the data secure. So once you get a couple blocks into it, the only way for a, an, an intruder or anybody that is able to be able to go change that data is to redo all the cryptography from the point of that data forward. Because the minute the data is changed in a block, the cryptographic hash of that block changes, which means then you've got to change the next block because now the hash of the previous block has changed the hash in that block and you can see what happens. You've got to continually go back and you've got to chase forward to get all the blocks chained. And the only way to do that is to completely take over the network, basically tell everybody stop adding blocks so I can go, you know, do my nefarious task here and get everything linked back up. And the whole idea of a blockchain is to prevent that. And part of what prevents that is the distributed ledger. So what happens in a blockchain is various computers around the network that run nodes, if it's in a business, the node, the people who run nodes are pre-selected by the admin of the blockchain. In Bitcoin, it's a public blockchain, so anybody can run a node. So the distributed nature of it means that everybody on the network has to agree that this is a, the right thing to do as far as changing that data back there. And of course, you'd have to have well over 50% of the the nodes in the network under your control to convince 51% of the network that this change is good. And that's a very difficult thing to do, especially on a network the size of Bitcoin. So the distributed ledger is a ledger that's kept on all the nodes in the network that run. And that distributed ledger contains a full ledger of all the data. And those ledgers are always in agreement. So when a when a transaction is sent to the network and is validated, it goes out to all of the ledgers on the network and all the ledgers agree on the validity of all of those, uh, of all those transactions. So that kind of gives you an idea of what the difference between those three entities are. Bitcoin is a currency built on blockchain Distributed ledger is a component of blockchain that helps it to be secure by distributing the data among all of the nodes on the network. 
So I, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and uh, help me grow the network. And we'll hope to see you again later. Thanks.